Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we will be reviewing the Housing Complex C anime. In this video we'll also have a ton of spoilers, but with all of that out of the way, let's jump right into it. Kicking things off with a very simple synopsis, Housing Complex C takes place in, you guessed it, a housing complex filled with a bunch of old people and a little girl named Kimmy. These old people really like Kimmy and take care of her. Then some foreigners start to move in for work or something like that. Mysterious stuff starts to happen like dead bodies of animals, they like pop up out of nowhere. And there is some beef between the locals and foreigners and that's honestly about it for the synopsis. Jumping over to the story and plot, it's pretty weird and wacky. You have some mysterious stuff that happens, like I mentioned in the synopsis, you know, with the dead animals and stuff, and I think that's like the main mystery. Then the story takes a massive turn, and the family that moved in with the foreigners turns out to be murderous lunatics. A lot of people die. Kimmy is an ancient god, I guess, and she wanted to just hang out on Earth. The housing complex was essentially frozen in time and just a bunch of other shit but this weird and wacky stuff at least for me was a giant plus because i sometimes like when a story flies off the rails and completely catches me off guard so for the most part i rather enjoyed the story of housing complex c it was wild as all hell and kept me interested and a little lost but I feel like you can kind of compare it to something like Steins Gate or Island, because we'll mainly focus on Steins Gate here, had a very weird story that definitely flew off the rails and there were so many twists and turns that just kind of caught like a lot of people off guard and maybe confused some. I mean, I know Steins Gate confused the absolute hell out of me, and I feel like Housing Complex C also did this. It wasn't as deep as Steins Gate by any means, but it was definitely like, if you don't pay attention, you may not know what's really going on because you know there's always been those hints throughout housing complex c of like ancient gods or something and then at the end it's like wait kimmy is this ancient god really confusing stuff but i definitely enjoyed that aspect of it because it kept me incredibly entertained and it caught me completely off guard to where i was like wait hold on what the hell and i would say the story was pretty good i have like no complaints about it next is the characters and i really like the characters i felt a little attached to them and I think most of them got proper screen time and I believe most of them were very unique like the old dudes who hung around just chilling I like them in the relationship with Kimmy it was amazingly wholesome Khan was a creepy fella that turned out to be extremely nice the family that moved in with the foreigners turned out to be horrible people and Kimmy turned out to be a god that was just playing the role of a child and I loved all of that I felt that most of the characters were really really well done and I have to give the creators all the props in the world for that because they took the extra time to make these characters unique and memorable. And it feels like most of them were like really well done to the point where it's like, yeah, I've seen enough of this character. I know what they're doing. And I also think this was a giant plus for this anime because I love how they took the time to make all these characters rather good. Instead of just focusing on one or two, they focused on like the majority of the cast and gave them their own unique quirk and stuff like that and like little backstories you don't get like full backstories on characters but you get little tiny backstories and I really enjoyed that and I feel like that made it so much better for me because I like when characters have more going on than the surface level stuff and now for my favorite aspect to review the horror and housing complex c had some really solid horror and to get the regular horror out of the way some characters were killed off that whole little family turned out to be killers that was a big surprise and unfortunately some of the wholesome characters got killed off too i believe actually all the old men ended up dying i think a lot of people ended up dying and that's just the normal stuff you know the normal slasher stuff uh oh that family turned out to be killers and you know they killed one of your favorite characters one of the wholesome old men oh no but uh that stuff was pretty solid it was okay like normal horror stuff i have like no complaints with it but it definitely was a big surprise and i believe this is a trend for the anime big surprises i would say housing complex c likes to play with your mind and surprise you with the horror 
were, like the puppy's head that ended up in the syrup. That shit was really shocking, and it honestly really shocked me. And I mentioned this in my previous video, but I can break it down again. They were supposed to make snow cones or whatever, and it was supposed to be this really wholesome moment to connect the foreigners with the locals and, you know, try to make things peaceful again. And the syrup that they were putting on top of the snow cones tasted a little different, and come to find out that there was a decapitated puppy's head in the syrup and it was truly horrific and I didn't see it coming but it was great horror because of that it caught me completely off guard. So once again I have to compliment the creators of this anime they pulled off horror very well and I definitely enjoyed it. Up next is art, animation, and sound design. The art was pretty average, about what you would expect out of any other anime. Nothing too crazy, but nothing terrible. The animation, also very average, nothing terrible, but nothing amazing. It was really smooth, and I have absolutely no complaints. And I can just put it up on screen here. I can put some random movement from the anime to show you what I'm talking about. It's just average stuff. It's nothing crazy. Uh, like always, I don't really pay attention to the sound design the voice acting was good and the opening song or whatever was actually pretty good so props for that i don't really pay attention to the music within anime but this time i did and it was pretty solid i have like no complaints for our animation and sound design i would say they're all good or average nothing special there all around i rather enjoyed housing complex c it was pretty good and i honestly have no real complaints so for my final score i'm going to be giving housing complex Complexy, a 7 out of 10. Good horror, good watch. If you haven't seen it yet, check it out. I know if you watched this video, it kind of spoiled everything for you, but I would still suggest giving Housing Complexy a watch. It's rather entertaining and a pretty solid show. But anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know your thoughts on Housing Complexy down in the comments. Check the description for all my links and more information on Housing Complexy will be down there as well. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.